Welcome to Serif Draw Plus X3, the award-winning software program that offers everything you need for drawing, painting, designing, illustrating and animating. In this simple tutorial, we'll show you how to create a translucent gel web button using shapes, colour and transparency effects. Let's get started. Open Draw Plus, or if Draw Plus is already open, click File, New, New from Startup Wizard. The Startup Wizard offers different routes into the program. For example, from here you can open saved work, open a design template, or browse the tutorials and sample designs included with the program. We'll choose Start New Drawing. Click the page size of your choice, and then click Open. We'll begin by creating the basic shape for our gel button. At the left of the workspace, on the Drawing toolbar, click to expand the Quick Shapes flyout. Click the Quick Rectangle, and then click and drag on your page to create a large rectangle shape. At the left of the shape, you'll see a slider. All Quick Shapes can be edited or morphed by dragging their respective sliders. The number of sliders available and their functions will differ depending on the shape selected. Rectangles possess a single slider to control the radius of the corners. Drag the slider up to round the corners of your shape. Let's now choose a colour for our button. With the shape still selected, go to the colour tab at the right of the workspace. Click the fill swatch, then click a point in the outer colour wheel to set the base colour for your button. Now click inside the inner triangle to choose the exact colour you want to apply. To remove the outline from the rectangle, open the Line tab and now click the No Line button. We'll now create some copies of the shape, changing their colours and feathering their borders to create a glowing gel effect. At the top of the workspace, on the Standard toolbar, click the Copy button. Now click the Paste button. Go back to the Colour tab, and this time click inside the triangle to fill the shape with a lighter shade of the colour you selected previously. Make this new shape slightly smaller by clicking and dragging the top centre size handle. Now we'll apply a feathered edge to our new shape. The Effects tab provides a wide selection of preset effects that you can apply to objects on your page with a simple click. At the bottom of the Effects tab, click the right arrow next to the Feather Edge control and then drag the slider to set the value to around 9 or 10 points. Copy and paste this new shape. Again, you can use the buttons on the standard toolbar or you can use the right click menu for this. Click inside the triangle on the colour tab to fill the shape with an even lighter shade of your chosen colour and then set the feather edge to about 14. Make this shape thinner by clicking and dragging the top and the bottom resize handles. If you now click away from the shape, you'll see that you've created a glow effect. Now we'll add a reflection highlight. At the top of the drawing toolbar, click the pointer tool. Now, click on the uppermost border of the shape. This selects the largest shape, the one that we created first. Right click and choose Copy. Right click again and choose Paste. Over on the colour tab, click the white corner of the inner triangle to apply a white fill. To create our reflection highlight, we need to convert this shape to curves and then edit it with the Node tool. On the Arrange tab, Click the Convert to Curves button. Over on the Drawing toolbar, click the Node tool. You'll see small nodes appear around the edge of your shape. Click and drag to draw a selection bounding box around the lower two nodes. Drag one of these selected nodes up slightly, and you'll see the other node move along with it. Repeat this step to move the upper two nodes down.
we need to make the shape slightly smaller. Over on the drawing toolbar, click the pointer tool again. Now press and hold down the control key and then drag a corner resize handle. Holding down the control key while dragging allows you to resize about the centre of the shape. To move the shape into position, click on the Move button in the upper left corner. Now start to drag the shape upwards and then press and hold down the Shift key while you continue dragging up. Holding down the Shift key constrains movement to the vertical plane, ensuring that your shapes remain centrally aligned. Now click the Transparency tool. Click and drag to draw a transparency path from the top to the bottom of the shape. And that's all there is to it. Your gel button is complete.